my lovelies, this is Michelle from Doris and Stanley and I'm here today to share with you my latest junk journal. Uh, I've just finished this one. Her name is Rosie and she is a canal barge folk art sort of themed journal. Well, canal narrow boats. Um, I was inspired by a paper pack that I found and it just it was a, a folk arc paper pack and it just made me think of the um, roses and castles and the rowboat decoration and all the lovely English folk art. So this is her, this is Rosie. Um, she measures eight and a quarter by five and a half inches and she has a two and a quarter slightly curved spine and she's got cheesecloth now at the top and the bottom and I've done a lot of stitching in her so there are a lot of threads dangling which can be snipped off if you prefer and she's tied with a sari silk um, ribbon tie and let's go inside she's a hard cover and um, she's quite chunky um, but I've I haven't put too much ephemera in. There is ephemera in most of the pockets, but I haven't put too much in um, because I didn't want it to get too fat. So here we go. We've got a lovely, this book belongs to plate here. I love that. It always reminds me when I was at little and I used to get a new book and the only writing my dad would let me allow, allow me to do in my book would be to put my name in it. He was very precious about books. We've got a lovely crochet doily here. Um, canal folk uh, barges, um, they used to um, decorate their tiny little cabins with beautiful um, crochet trims and laces that they made while the ladies made while they were steering the boats a lot of the time and they used to swap stitches um, just to cheer their little homes up. So we've got some trim on the edge of the page here. We've got a tuck spot here. And we've got a little card there, a journal tag. And this is an excerpt from a Bargie's book here. Um, it's tea dyed. And it's got a lovely sketch on it there as well. The three locks it says on it. That's interesting. And we've got some trim here. Well, the pages are tea dyed and there are approximately about 80 odd pages which is about 160 sides and that includes patterned paper, graph paper, map paper and book pages. I've got a doily here, a bit of stencil in there. I've sort of, the stenciling is a rose themed stencil because a lot of the um, canal barges are decorated with roses. We've got a picture here of a lady on a canal narrowboat doing her washing. Oops, in this big pocket here. And a tag there. And I've kept it quite colourful as well because the canal narrowboats are beautifully painted all in bright colours. We've got a little butterfly charm here. And I've done some stitching, st stitched some lines on this paper. Um, I've seen uh, Jibby do this and I uh, thought I'd give it a go, I thought it looked great. More rose stencil there, that's the same as the design on the cover. And it says everything is better with love and laughter. Another pocket there. Most of the ephemera is canal barge related but I think there's only a couple of things that have been stuck in. The rest of it can all be taken out if it doesn't suit you. All stenciling here. And we've got a lovely poem here about the old canal from 1938 um, when the canals were starting to die off because the railroad had um, started to take off for um, carrying goods about so um, I mean they've take, they've been revived now people are using them to live on and travel up and down and holiday on the canals now we've got a lovely little rose piece of paper there writing journal spot and we've 
got another excerpt there from uh, Bargy's journal. Thursday the 5th of October 1960 with another sketch there. And that's an example of canal folk art there. And a pocket there with a narrow boat there. And there we've got another narrow boat picture there and it's being cut towed by the horse before the narrow boats were powered by engines. Tag there in a the pocket. We've got a, a rose tag there and a map tag there in this large pocket here. Dictionary page. We've got some map paper there and another stencil. Some broad down glaze trim and some nice bright ribbon there. Another sensor image there. I've had real fun researching about canal barges. A couple of tags in a double pocket there. It's been really interesting. I live in Birmingham and we've got a canal basin in the centre of town where you can go and have a trip on the canal, on the boats. Got an excerpt from a book there, An Inland Voyage by Robert Louis Stevenson, talking about the canal life. We've got an old barge there. Another pocket here with some two canal barges. got a really old picture there. The ladies used to wear hats. A lot of them wore white ones but this lady's got a black hat on that they used to make. And they used to crochet little hats for the horses as well with um, flaps that covered their ears and kept the flies off. Another excerpt there from the Flower of Gloucester. And we've got a little notepad here, There's a few pieces of paper, extra journaling spot there. Another stencil, another excerpt there, always be happy and always be loved. Some more bright coloured ribbon. A flip out section there for extra journal space. We've got a large pocket here and this postcard um, is from um, the Embroiders Guild and um, it's actually got in, an embroidered scene of um, a narrow boat. We've got a double pocket here with another excerpt from a notebook. But that's a tuck spot there, a rose. And we've got another little butterfly charm here. And here's another picture of a, a narrowboat being pulled by a horse there. Some more trim. And we've got a tuck spot at the back there with some tabs and um, tickets. And this opens up for a little bit more journaling space there as well. from Know Your Waterways, talking about how magical it is to be on a boat. And this one says, smile and think of something happy. And we've got a lady here inside her cabin on the narrow boat there. You can see all the crocheted lace here, and the pretty tablecloths they used to use and they used to have brass pots as well which they used to keep highly polished. A postcard here with some narrowboat children on. And we've got a tip in, tip in there with some flowers and butterflies on. Here we've got another example of um, the roses from the canal barge arch. Canal barge art. 
<laughs> Another excerpt there from a, a diary. And that's a double tuck spot there. We've got a tuck spot there and the pocket in the back. a piece from a history book there with a procession. And this bit here from the wind in the willows. Believe me my young friend there is nothing, absolutely nothing, half so much worth doing as simply messing about in boats. 1908. We've got some Edith Holden paper there. And this centrepiece says happiness and joy. We've got some nice bright coloured ribbon trim here. And I've included this piece from Edith Holden and it's got horses on. I mean they're they're ploughing, they're not pulling a, a narrow boat, but it just reminded me of the, the horses that pull the narrow boats. We've got another tuck spot there with a journal card. Another quote there. And then we've got a picture here of a bridge and a little bit of information about canals. Got a beautiful picture here of all the brightly coloured narrow boats on a canal. And then we've got a picture here of a lock. Another tuck spot there. Another old picture of a family on the narrow boat. Music paper and another excerpt from a book there. Another flip here with happiness and joy and it's a little, piece, a little extra piece of paper there for journaling on. And then here we've got some journal space and a little tuck spot there. Piece of um, dictionary page there, and this centerpiece says "Live, Love, Laugh." More stenciling, dictionary page, and some lovely broidery on glaze, and a couple of old buttons there, and a little bit of trim. A narrow boat here. Nothing is better than being at large in charge of a gay inland waterway barge. It's in that pocket there. With a rose stencil there. We've got some lace and a bit of um, hessian there. And then a lady operating the tiller, I think, or the anchor or something on the barge there, and you can see. All the highly decorated artwork on the narrow boat there in that tuck spot and there's my label there and the back is plain and then you've got some ridges on the spine here and then we've got this lovely raised rose design on here to echo the castle and roses art of the canal boats and that's Rosie, she's going to be for sale in my Etsy store, um, the link will be below. And thank you so much for watching my video, and I hope to see you soon in the next one. Thanks, bye!